Good morning. So I had to start that vlog again because this little rat decided he wanted to join in. I put a poll up my Instagram story and you guys all wanted to see this vlog. A little bit of a download on what I'm getting up to today. So Chili has shockwave therapy, which is her first treatment. Um, shockwave is kind of like high pressure ultrasound. It's used a lot in human medicine to help with like fractures that don't heal and kidney stones and stuff. The idea is basically to bring new blood cells and like kind of damage the tissue but then it like helps repair it if that makes any sense at all. I, I'll put like a little thing here that explains it a little bit more um, and I'll leave some links in the comments, I mean in the description. The guy that's doing it actually messaged me at like 3am this morning and he's like sorry I'm gonna be late today I had a horse go down and I was like oh worst thing ever um, for him not for me obviously um, but yeah, I was like ugh would not want to be you right now. Um, but yes, so that's the first thing on the agenda. So I have to go out and sedate Chili for that, which I'm just going to use oral sedation, which thankfully my adjustment owner had some on hand because I usually get it from my vet, obviously. And um, I, the guy was like, oh, I'm coming down Wednesday. And I was like, Ugh, I don't have time to get sedation. <laughs> my vet's like an hour away and like I usually just get them to post stuff. And obviously I couldn't get stuff posted in like two days so later this afternoon if the weather doesn't turn absolutely feral I've got a lesson on wonky um, wonky was an absolute dick yesterday I don't I don't like calling horses names because she's not actually a dick but she was just being a bit of a loser yesterday like let's just be honest like the cold weather and the grass and the feed had really gone to her head <laughs> like I got her out to give her a lunge because I, I wanted to ride her and I was like mm, I think she's gonna be a little bit fresh today so like I'll just give her a lunge and uh, she was mental, like tail up in the air, racing around. Oh, I was like, I give up. Took her in the round yard and let her have have some fun in there by herself, without me attached to the end of the rope. And she settled down eventually, but hopefully she's kind of like that for my lesson, so the the instructor can see like what I'm dealing with every day because I don't think she believes me when I tell her that my horse is insane. It started to rain, which I'm a bit bummed about, but oh well. K&M Naturals sp sponsored rider shirt from 2017 because that's how long it's been since I've been sponsored. So <laughs> if anyone wants to help me out, these bills are getting quite expensive. Um, but yeah, it's got like all my stuff on the back. But anyways, let's go. This is really unflattering up close. I need to wax my face. Oh. I'm sorry everyone, I forgot my vlogging camera. I'm so sad because I much, much prefer the quality of the actual camera than my phone, but um, it is what it is. <laughs> Damn, I'm so annoyed. And I like brought like the SD card thing to go in my brother's computer as well. Uh, anyways, I'm about to go give Chili some sedation. Um, lovely bright blue color. <laughs> Uh, just to help with the shockwave because the shockwave is quite loud and yeah it's a good idea to give them like a little bit of sedation just so that they don't kick because uh, yeah Chili is obviously getting her hind leg done so even more prone to kicking she's just there but yeah I'm just gonna go get her halted give her the, the blue gel under her tongue and then probably stand up here for 20 minutes or so just let it kick in a little bit um, because like they need to be quite relaxed when they have it so if I take her down there she's more likely to get hyped up so we will give her the stuff down here and um, yeah it has to go under their tongue though so that could be interesting because I um, she's good to give butte and everything but I don't like you obviously just stick that over their tongue but this stuff has to go on the membrane underneath their tongue so that will be interesting it is so wet and muddy. like look at how muddy and gross this really is the people in the UK are like, haha, you have not been muddy yet. So sick of the rain, and we're supposed to get another 10, 5 mils today, another 20 mils tomorrow. And I'm like, when does it stop? Can't actually see anything, but you know, she's pretty much already sedated, like, not gonna lie. But the shockwave is super loud, so. Yeah, I gotta get the freaking cap off. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna give her 2 mils, even though the recommended dose is 2.5. Because, yeah, she's already quite quiet anyways, but I just want to make sure that she's, um, I oh, know, I know. Girl, hopefully that went under her tongue, not over. I think it did. I hope so. 
otherwise it doesn't do anything if it went over her tongue. So now we just have to wait for it to kick in hopefully and hopefully I administer it right and it went in the right spot. I think I did but um yeah she went and spat out a whole lot of food so hopefully she didn't like just flick it out from underneath her tongue. But yeah. I'd be very annoyed if we did. But yeah hopefully the weather holds out for Wonk's lesson. Um, it's at 3.30 so it's actually supposed to have like 35 kilometer winds which is normal. Oh my god look. Look! Look at them! Look at you two! Anyways, um, yeah, it's supposed to be really windy. And uh, Wonk's usually pretty good in the wind, but I hate the wind, so yeah. Duck your Hey, look at your eye goobers. She's like, actually, do not fucking do that to me. <laughs> oh, she hates me so much. 10 minutes in and I think it's kicking in or maybe she's just falling asleep because she's tired. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I don't know how I'm gonna get her down there though when she's actually sedated, but we'll figure that one out, I suppose. Chill. <laughs> Come here. Come on. Thank you. So all done with the shockwave stuff. I actually forgot to film all of it. <laughs> um, this is the first time I'd met that bloke though, so I kind of like did want to be like, oh, can I stick a camera in your face? But he seems like the kind of person that would actually like to do that. So <laughs> um, I'll ask him next time because he's coming down again next week for the second treatment because it's like you have to treat them every week for three weeks or something. So. So I figured I may as well finish off the vlog, if you could even call it that. I'm so disappointed. Honestly, I was expecting such a good video and I was so excited to get all these clips for you. Um, but for one, my lesson uh, cancelled. So that was great. I couldn't even like film or show anything for you. Anyway, it's so such a bad thing because the weather is not nice and Nelly would have been an absolute idiot. So fingers crossed when I have the, cl the clinic that it's nice weather because otherwise I just won't take it. <laughs> Shockwave was really, really interesting. I don't know whether I touched much on it when I was talking before. I might actually get Penny done the next time that he comes down because she has quite a tight lower back and like tight hams. She's tight everywhere, honestly. And this horse had so many injuries, like she's had a check ligament injury and everything. So therapeutic shockwave would be quite good for her, I think. I'm gonna give anything a go with grandma to keep her comfortable. The instructor had a really sore back, so. Which is fair enough. I was like, you don't wanna be standing in the cold, honey. Like that'll just make your back 10 times worse. So I'm probably gonna reschedule that for the weekend and go from there. So yeah, sorry this vlog was really boring and not really informative. But I thought it would be kind of interesting to touch base and I've already filmed all these bloody clips now so I might as well post them. I don't know whether I've actually like said the condition that Chili has but basically it's proximal suspensory desmitis which is based, which is like inflammation of the upper suspensory or like the suspensory. Uh, I wasn't there when she got it scanned and the vet hasn't talked me through it and dumbed it down but I do have a vet report which basically says it's a chronic condition and there's a chance that she'll always be lame like have low length have low like a level lameness all the time it's not the best diagnosis i was low-key hoping for an injury but the shockwave bloke was like no nah, no nah, this is way better than an injury like we can get this sorted for you like this is really gonna help and i'm like oh i hope so uh but yes yeah, so once the shockwave treatments are all done she will have her suspensory injected and then we will start walk rehab again doing slow work for a long long time um, it's, it's going to be a very, very long, long recovery. She's currently got special shoes on as well to help support her suspensories. I just enjoyed the video and I'm so sorry that there isn't really much to be in this video besides my ugly face and me talking. Uh, however, it's, um, if, is it considered content? I don't know. You can probably just chuck this on in the background while you're studying and, you know, just do that whole thing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyways, I hope you guys all had a great day and your ponies are going well because mine are not. Uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys later in the week, so 
Bye.